What is up, people? Well, Tom McTofer here, today doing a review of Pop Toys Scorpion, representative from Heck. Got this figure from Gundamit. So I think this is a uh, unofficial figure, I believe. I haven't cracked this open at all. A very nice, sturdy, hefty box. All right, I'm going to get this open and uh, be right back. Alright, I was messing with this figure for uh, quite a bit. A very nice figure. Uh, comes off more yellow, of course, than uh, the product photos. Product photos have a little bit more warmth to the coloration. More gold. I don't know. You know I'm not a metal guy, but uh, it's uh, more yellow than... It should have more of a goldish tinge. Maybe from my personal taste. You can see this little metal loop right there. Scale wise he seems to be about the uh, you know I'm gonna use nerd geek talk to you guys right now <laughs> but uh, he seems to be about six inches too tall so he looks like a uh, six foot character. Uh, Hiroyuki Sanada seems to me about five four uh, five six so yeah this uh, character looks a little bit too tall for proportions, uh, but otherwise, uh, great craftsmanship, detail, you have the metal, armor, and the uh, main body is, I think, uh, some type of plastic, leatherette, fake leather, maybe real leather, I have no clue, actually. Foot armor, articulated feet, the sandals, very sturdy, very stiff, not stiff, not, was it stiff? No, it's a tight, yeah, so very easy to pose, yeah. and then of course you have, his, uh, I'm trying to pose this for how this camera is, so yeah, a little challenging there, you have uh, metal bars in the Tassel bits here, the uh, skirt bits, also the hood. You get magna a magnetic attached hair. Okay, I believe also the mass you get is magnetic, and then it, it also does have a strap. This thing feels like metal too. I'm not sure, but anyways. Looks like it's it's a magnetic, right? And then there's also the strap, just in case you want to secure it even more. Uh, it's a light uh, magnet, I think. A weak magnet. Let's see if I can get that on there. Feels like it is. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Anyways, let's put that strap back on there. Get. Uh, the pauldrons, I think, are also metal. They come off. Down there. This side. Oops. Stand bits. Two other hands. Weapons. Very nicely detailed weapons. Look at that. Yeah, that's metal, I think. Once again, Gundamit by way of Show Z. I didn't want to be one of those that didn't buy this and then kind of regretted it, so I had to buy this with a chain. Uh, 
And they actually include uh, this little flashlight, which I thought was just a normal light, but I guess it's UV reactive. You can see how it reacts to that. I, however, will take out my uh, industrial black light. I'll be right back. His uh, pupils are pretty small in the pit, but uh, hopefully you guys can see that they do illuminate. And uh, yeah, pretty nice figure to have. Skin nose. I'm pretty sure that was inadvertent. Interesting to see that there's a UV reactive symbol on the small weapon. 